Once we got the rifle zeroed in at 30 yards, we wanted to dope it out, and my dad is really good at doing that. Again, what we're doing is checking dope, and, uh, and the importance of that is that out here, I mean, uh, hunting out of, a, out of a hide, like out of an archery blind, where you, you know, I mean, you're not gonna be moving. You pretty much know the distance the animal's gonna be at 30 yards or 40 yards, but many times we're at spot and stalking, you don't really know the distance until you're fixing to pull the trigger. It's for that reason with an air gun, it's just like with a bow, you're gonna have a tremendous amount of fall in, in your projectile the further away you go because you're losing the energy and the speed in the arrow. And so what we're doing is just checking the dope to make sure that if we get shots at longer distances, we know exactly the hold on them to make a good, clean, ethical kill. All right, let's let her rip. Perfect. Perfect. Nice. All right, we need to scoot her on back now. All right, I want to address something. When, uh, when you're checking zero on a rifle, this may be just common sense to a lot of people, but I really, really think it's important to address. Make sure that you've got a dead rest. And the reason why if you don't have a dead rest, you're not going to get 100% confidence in your shot placement. And so it's for that reason, as a right-handed shooter, I'm going to shoot where I've got something to support my right arm. Okay, a left-handed shooter, I'd say something to support your left arm. And the reason why is you want to make sure and have a dead rest so you have 100% confidence in your shot. Here it goes. Perfect. So on today's hunt, I'm hunting with Johan, and he said we're going to go after some plains game animals. There's a little spot he knows of where they hang out a lot, so we're fixing to go on a spot and stock for him. The thing with spot and stocks is that the elements are always against you. If the wind isn't in your favor, you're never going to be successful. So we make sure and spray down with scent killer before every spot and stock, even though it works for days, because it helps us have a better advantage over the animals if the wind isn't in our favor. My name is Johan Dreyer, and I'm the general manager at Hunter's Hill Safaris. Okay, at Hunter's Hill, we try to cater for all clients' needs, but um, we specialize in spot and stalk hunting. The terrain here lends it really well for that type of hunting. It's a destination for true hunters that are looking for a really good spot and stalk experience. Maddie, um, normally a group of olibias that hang out at the base of the mountain is about this time of the day, so okay. it might be a good idea for us to sneak up the creek and uh, see if we can spot them. Okay, yeah, let's do it. I got my walking shoes on. Okay. I'm just gonna load my gun up. That way I don't have to worry about it when we're walking. We went and checked our dope at the range to make sure we're good out to 60 yards. So on a spot and stock, you can expect to shoot a little bit further. And if I have to, I'm prepared to. So, you ready? I'm ready. Let's okay, go. let's go. In my opinion, I think a wildebeest is the coolest plains game animal just because they're so demonic looking. They're cool, the way they run around and their tails whip like crazy and they go from one direction to the another. They can run so fast and they're very challenging to hunt. I know about this area at the bottom of the mountain where a group of wildebeest typically hang out. So we're gonna work our way up the creek bed and see if uh, opportunity presents itself. This terrain is perfect for spot and stalking just because you've got a lot of valleys and creek beds, you have rocks, then you've got lots of thick trees and brush that you can take cover behind. So we round this corner and Johan spots the wildebeest and the hunt is on. Was a hit. Yeah. 
area. I saw that hit. That was, oh. a, that was a solid hit. I could see the blood pumping out of him. It's still so, coming out of him. Look at all that yeah, blood. Yeah. That's going to drop there. He's not going far. He's wobbling. Yeah. He's wobbling. Just watch him, but he's going to drop soon. He's down. Yeah. Well done. Awesome, okay. man. Well done. We Crazy. got lucky again. What is good shooting? So I take my shot and I see that arrow hit. It was an excellent shot and there's blood everywhere. I mean, I know it was a successful shot. There's blood coming out of both sides and I've never seen anything like that. And I can't wait to get up that mountain and see it because I've never seen one in person. Look at the blood everywhere. Blood everywhere. This is not a difficult blood trail to follow. No, <laughs> don't need the dogs for this one. Definitely not. Must have been a hard shot. Look yeah, at it. you hit it right in the heart. Oh. Look Great how shot, look at that. And quartering away. Fantastic. You, that is an awesome. You made, you made a perfect shot. Can you hold my gun? Yeah, please? sure. Thank you. Look at this. I've never seen a wildebeest in person. That's beautiful, eh? Absolutely gorgeous. This is an old female? Yes, an old female, yeah. I've so. watched my dad hunt these things for yeah. years and years and years, and they are just tough critters. God, it's heavy. They yeah. look mean. Mm. I mean, how old do you think it is? No, she must be. A at least eight years old. Really? So, yeah. Yeah. If you look at her horn shape and the way the bases are cracked and yeah, she's got. Are these markings normal on them? Yeah. They yeah, are. They, they all have that. Wow, absolutely beautiful. And yeah. that that dragon claw, man, yeah. forty nine yards. That's such a good shot. You couldn't have made a better shot if you tried. Well, thank you. Yeah. I mean, well done. you've been excellent to hunt with, and I've had a great time here. We're at Hunters Hill Safaris. Yeah in South Africa. My dad's come here for years and years and years. Mm. He's even brought my brother. Yeah, yeah. And finally, it's my turn. And I'm having yeah. an absolute ball with y'all. So I appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to more hunts with you. That's an absolute pleasure. And yeah. I've, I'm really enjoying the experience of hunting with you and seeing the, the air rifle perform. Yeah, it's just done amazing. So if y'all would like to see more videos about the air rifle and us hunting with them, head to our YouTube channel. It's High Road Hunting. And we appreciate y'all watching and all the support. I mean, I'm just having a ball and I couldn't do this without any of you. So thank you.